It's time to stop calling disabled people inspirational. You are so inspirational. It's one of those phrases that disabled people hear a lot. And with the Paralympics coming up and amazing athletes on our screens, it's likely we're going to be hearing this narrative even more. This year, as in 2012, our Paralympians are being dubbed as superhuman. In many ways, this is positive, but it carries with it this timeless idea that disabled people are something other than simply human. At the same time, the tagline, there's no such thing as can't, insinuates that every disabled person can do anything if only they tried hard enough. Look at Stephen Hawking. Rather than acknowledging the multiple barriers disabled people face in society, the emphasis is on the individual and whether or not they deserve praise. But who wouldn't want to be called inspirational? Isn't it a good thing? If we press a little further, equating disability with inspiration reinforces two worrying things. Firstly, that disability is automatically a terrible tragedy that has to be overcome. Secondly, that whatever struggle or success disabled people experience is simply a means to make non-disabled people feel good. This representation of disabled people is often called inspiration porn. By definition of pornography, someone, here a disabled person, is objectified for the benefit of the person watching. We see it in the viral videos of teenagers with Down syndrome being asked to the prom. Or those social media memes of Stephen Hawking with a motivational quote above his wheelchair. It's the Tiny Tim philosophy. Disabled people, courageous yet pitiable, exist to give non-disabled people a warm fuzzy feeling or to provide a better outlook on their own lives. It's time to stop calling disability inspirational. Real progress will come when disabled people are seen just like anyone else.